In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to add and edit content on a page within Silverstripe 3 CMS. So we'll begin by clicking on the page we want to edit. The content that I want to put on this page is over here in a Word document. So I will select this content and copy it and go back over to my browser. In order to make sure that no unwanted styles are going to come in from Microsoft Word and override the style sheet of my theme, I'm going to use the Paste as Plain Text tool. So the paste is now in plain text mode and I can toggle it by clicking the button again back to regular paste mode. But I want it to be in plain text right now so I'll just paste right here and you can see that the text is plain it doesn't have any formatting on these headers. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save Draft. And this will be a good time to talk about the difference between the draft site and the published site. Over here we have a little button that allows us to toggle between different modes. So we'll go to Preview Mode. And if you recall, I just saved the draft, so the text that I just pasted is only visible in the draft site. It is not yet visible in the published site. This enables us to work on our content and save as we go so that we don't lose any changes, but not publish until we're ready for the public to see what we've been working on. So let's switch back over to edit mode and have a look at our page here. So the fields up here, there's page name and navigation label. And the page name is what is put right here on the page. This is the heading level one of this page. The navigation label is used here in the navigation and over here as a sidebar label for these sub pages of the about page and also in the footer links of this theme. So if our first header here, the page name, is our heading level 1, this heading is going to be a subhead of that. So this needs to be a heading level 2. And then let's just say this is a subhead of that, so this would be a heading level 3. So if we had an outline of our page, this one would be our Roman numeral 1, and this would be our capital letter A, and then this one would be our regular number 1. It's important when deciding the level of heading that you're going to give a heading in your content to think about where it would sit in an outline. You shouldn't skip any levels, so this means that you don't choose your heading level based on the font size or color, but only on the meaning of the level. So, and then you let the style sheet take care of what it looks like. This is important for search engines and for visitors who might be having your site read to them by a screen reader. If we skipped a level, if we went directly from this heading level one to a heading level three, it would look to the search engine and to the person listening to the website like there was content missing because the heading level 2 was not there. So let's go back over to edit mode and style our headers. So we'll make that one be a heading level 2 and we'll make this one be a heading level 3. And at this point, I feel like I'm ready for my changes to be published. So instead of just saving the draft this time, I will save and publish. This will make it so that both versions of the site have the same content. And you can see there's no difference. Now, one of the advantages of having a separate page name field from a navigation label is that you can have the page name be longer than this and yet still have a nice short name in the navigation.
So the first time you change this, it automatically wants to make the navigation label match. So I'll just make it go back the way it was. And from now on, any time that I edit this one, this one will stay put. Now, the page name for the heading level one is a good place for putting keywords and really talking about what the page is about for your search experience optimization efforts. So let's go ahead and save and publish this and have a look at the preview. So our navigation label is still short and our page title has a little bit more to it now.